Hey everybody, I'm here today with a quick math lesson on converting kilograms to grams. It's a really, really simple process and I will be outlining the process in this video as well as providing you with a few different examples. So let's get right to it. The first thing that you need to know is that one kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. Now it's very important to take note of the number of zeros that are in the number 1000, okay? So there, there are one, two, three zeros, just as you can see right there. And basically all that you need to know is that because there are three zeros, we will be moving the decimal place three times to the right. So let's go over a few different examples. Three kilograms is equal to a certain amount of grams and I'm going to show you how to find that out. So we're going to start with the number that we see here which is 3 and then we are going to take the imaginary decimal and we are going to move it three spaces to the right because there are three zeros in the number 1000. So we're going to move it one, two, three spaces to the right and we're going to fill those spaces with zeros. So three zeros for the three spaces, and it's going to be 3,000 grams. Now we're going to try a number that is a little bit bigger. So once again, we're going to try uh, 22 kilograms is equal to a certain number of grams. So we're going to start off by writing the 22 that you see right there. Then we're going to put three spaces. We're going to move the imaginary decimal three spaces to the right. One, two, three. We're going to fill those spaces in with zeros. And as you can see, it says 22,000 grams. And it's literally that simple. We'll go over one more example with a bigger number. So let's say that we had 100 kilograms. And we are going to figure out how many grams that is equal to. We're going to take the 100 that we see right there. We are going to take the imaginary decimal. We're going to move it three spaces to the right. One, two, three. Fill those spaces in with zeros just like that and you can see that we have 100,000 grams and that's basically it. In this video I have shown you the process for converting kilograms to grams. It is a really simple process and I have shown you the steps in this video and I have also provided you with a few different examples and that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.